Good morning everyone. Today I will show you the new acquisition of Adventures channel and this is the watch meter. This just arrived and I've been testing it and I will tell you how it works. First of all, it comes without connectors, so I solder the T connector for my old boat and then I use the adapter for the new one is already connected so when this starts first you have to turn on your radio and then here we go you have to put this in position there you go give you a zoom in and that's it as you can see or you don't see because the numbers are not clear the numbers are in white and the the screen is blue make it difficult no make it difficult to see clear so that's the first but i tell you this is the cheapest in the market so I don't complain. So now I will give it a couple of uh, starts. I will do the motor on the bench and then we are going to the water. So here we go. Three, two, one. In the low. So in the low, it's around 0.7 amps. Well, in the low, 0.7. Now we go to the high. In the high is 1.9 amps. I didn't pay attention on the watts. What you see in this screen, if you can, is a sequence of numbers, but the problem I have with these numbers is that they accumulate. So right now they tell me all the numbers I ran before. So this is not helpful for me. I don't know how to reset. It has no bottom to reset. But the good news is, we are going to the water. Give me a second. And here we are finally on the water. So now you can see numbers a little bit more clear. But when I run the motor, the numbers begin to be a little blur. So now we are going to I keep this, I bring the, yeah, everything is ready, so here we go, I try to put this in a position where you, sorry, the movement, here we go, three, two, one. Okay, that was the experiment. Let's see the results. And here come the results. Yes, it wasn't clear. This screen is really terrible. It's hard to see anything in it, even if I zoom it. It's hard to see, even for me, it's hard to see the numbers. The only way is to turn off the lights, so the white numbers. Okay, but here are the results. Originally, on the bench, 0.7 amps low, 1.9 amps high on the bench. But in the water, low was 2 amps, and the highest when I 
push the trigger this way, it gave me 13 amps. <clears throat> yes, 13, one, three, not 30, like it is promoted in this motor. And when the, the motor was already running, gave me 11 amps. So this motor is a 10 amp motor, not a 30 amp, <clears throat> which is good news. That will help me make the batteries last longer, I guess. <clears throat> so that is the first test. I will run other tests with the other boat, but so far, very good news. This is only a 11 amp motor. Okay, I tell you, this is an old 7.4 LiPo battery I use for testing, and that's all that I have today. So, have a good day, go sailing, enjoy your time, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <coughs>